What's up, family? It's your guy, Rich, and welcome back to the channel. We're coming at you today with some more 21 Pilots. We have Lane Boy. That's what we're going to be checking out today. So make sure you guys smash the like button if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And as always, if you guys have any more request videos, you can either comment those down below in the comment section. Or you guys can DM those to us via social media. The links to all of our social media accounts will be in the description box down below. But without further ado, let's jump straight on into this next video, man. Let's check it out. So I, I did I did do a little bit of research before I hopped into this video on what the specific meaning of the the song Lane Boy was. Um, and what I found was that um, you guys can let me know if I'm correct by this. I mean, my information could be wrong. I want to emphasize that. Um, and that, that's with any video. You know, if I'm ever wrong, just let me know in the comment section. But um, what I did read is that Lane Boy was kind of a reference to what he just said people people telling him he needs to or telling them they need to kind of stay in their lane and and, and kind of uh, hey you you've made you've made this kind of music and you need to stick with that you you've you've garnered these kind of fans that like this kind of music you need to stick with that and he's kind of saying nah i'm better than that like i'm i am more talented than just that and you heard him just say i think he said um, every time change, I, I would switch the tempo or some, something like that. Um, basically, he's just, he's just like, nah, I, I, I do what I want. If you don't like it, oh well, you know. Um, but as, as far as far as you know, musical talent goes, I'm, I'm a lot more talented than just sticking to this this one this one niche. You know, we, we're we're a lot more talented than that. We we can branch out and do other things as well. Um, so. Let me know. Let me know if that information is correct in the comment section. But we'll, we'll continue listening. And what we think is good. I wasn't raised in the hood, but I know a thing or two about pain and darkness. If it wasn't for this music, I don't know how I would have thought this. Regardless, all these songs I'm hearing are so heartless. Don't trust a perfect person, and don't trust a song that's flawless. Honest, there's a few. So Absolutely, don't trust the perfect person. And don't trust the song that's flawless. <laughs> Is that what he said? Hold on. But you, you should never trust the perfect person. Anyone that tries to portray themselves as perfect, there's something questionable that they're trying to hide. You know, I said a long time ago, I'm not perfect and I never will pretend to be. I actually tweeted that out like months and months ago. And he, he's confirming it. Hey, don't, don't trust the perfect person. Never. I'm hearing all so heartless Don't trust a perfect person And don't trust a song that's flawless Honest There's a few songs on this record that feel common I'm in constant confrontation with what I want and what is popping In the industry it seems to me that singles on the radio are currency My creativity's on the free when I'm playing shows They say stay in your lane boy Lane boy But we go where we want to Yeah they think this thing is a highway Highway But will they be alive tomorrow? I'm sorry if that question I asked last Scared you a bit like a hazmat in a gas mask If you ask Zach, he's my brother, he likes when I rap fast But let's backtrack, back to this Who would you live in that for on that list? But the problem is, there's another list that exists And no one really wants to think about this Forget sanity, forget salary, forget vanity, my morality If you get in between someone I live with me You're gonna feel the heat of my cavalry All these songs I'm hearing are so heartless Don't trust a perfect person And don't trust a song that's flawless They say stay in your lane, boy Lane, boy we go where we want to hey. They think this thing is a highway Highway But will they be alive tomorrow? They say stay in your lane, lane boy Lane boy But we go where we want to They think this thing is a highway Highway But will they be alive tomorrow? Let me pull up the lyrics to this really, really quickly Uh... Okay. 
That was pretty cool. Flip to a concert. Doing the wave. Hey. That's lit. That's lit. Fame success. Do I kneel to these concepts? Fame and success. Tempted by control. Controlled by temptation. Stay low, they say. They said stay low. So I'm gonna go high and get lit. <laughs> I love it. Success? Do I kneel to these concepts? You know, I, I'm I'm, re I'm really I'm really beginning to like Twenty One Pilots, man. Um, you know, I I like I like that part where you know at you know when he flipped to the concert scene and he was like, "Do I kneel to these concepts? Fame and success." And I think I think we've seen individuals kneel to those concepts time and time again, where people have have let their fame and success get to them in they they feel like they're above you know any you know everyone else um I, I read about a recent situation um where where that happened to someone you know where they you know kind of fuck people over you know people that had followed them people that you know were were big fans of them they took advantage of them and i i, I think i think that's total bullshit you know um at the end of the day at the end of the day you know um i read a quote I read a quote. This was a while ago, but it was it was it was so true. It was so true. But the quote said the quote said this. The quote said, "I was raised to treat the janitor with the same respect that I treat the CEO with." And for me, that that is totally true. Like, I, if you've watched any of my you know videos, like I've always I've always talked about things like that, treating everyone with respect. Um, not only because they're human too, and not only because they deserve it, but at the end of the day, as fast as you gain your fame and success, it could all be taken away from you like that. I mean, anything could happen. You could, you could be involved in a, in a car accident that, 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 that renders you, you know, a quadriplegic. Now you have to be spoon fed for the rest of your life. Now, to, now, how do you live now? Those same people that you that you shunned, that you that you took advantage of, now they're laughing at you. But if you create a community of people that you treat with the same respect that you treat you, you would treat anyone else with, now when you go in, now when you go through hard times, they got your back. You know, that's that's the difference. And um like I I've just I've just like laughed at individuals that like like you'll you'll get it one day. Now I, I I hope those individuals who let their fame and success get to them don't don't reach a, a horrible situation like what I described in order for them to to in order for it to click within them like I need to treat everyone with the same amount of respect it doesn't matter if they're the janitor of this building or the CEO of it I need to treat those those two individuals with the same amount of respect um, I hope that they don't have to meet you know a tragic situation like that before that that clicks but i hope that eventually it clicks you know um obviously because the world would, would would definitely be a better place um now as far as the song goes definitely a song that i agree with um i've never been one to to follow the crowds or follow the masses or follow what people tell me to do um as a matter of fact 
you know, Kelsey can attest to it. Um, if you tell me to do something, I'm likely going to do the opposite just to piss you off. That's like, that, that's, that's just me, you know, um, like you telling me that I need to do something, eh, I don't need to do shit. I don't, I don't owe anybody, you know, anything, you know what I mean? Um, but if, I mean, now you can ask me to do it uh, now, now you're giving me a choice. So of course, you know, nine times out of 10, if you ask me politely, you know, Hey, can you do this? I'll do it for you. You know, no problem. But when people tell me to do something like stay in your lane, like, Hey, listen, you, i you tell me to go left, stay in your lane, go left. Shit. I'm going right. You, you can bet your ass I'm going right. You know what I mean? I, I don't give a fuck what right leads to, but I'm, I'm going right just to piss you off. You know, now, obviously, if it's going, if going the opposite direction is going to do, you know, some harm to me, you know, I, obviously, I'm not, you know, going to going to go that route. But typically, I'm going to do the opposite of what you tell me to do, like kind of what he was kind of speaking about there. You know, they say stay in your lane. Um, but at, and at the end of the day. You know, I, I I believe I believe in going after, you know, whatever it is you want in life, whatever you want to do in life, uh, whatever, whatever it is you want, go after it. You know, um, we only get one life to live. Don't live your life um, based on what other people think and what other people say. I mean, otherwise, you, you you'll never live. You know, you're living somebody else's life. You're not living your own life. Um, so I encourage you all to live your own life. Don't stay in your lane, you know. There, there, there is no lane to when it comes to your life. You decide, you know, where, where, um, you want to go. Not, not other people. Not, not these perceived lanes, you know. But anyway, another, another dope song from Twenty One Pilots. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys leave a like before you go. Hit the subscribe button as you guys already know. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, man.